can see it. I can see it. This one, I like this. Look at the drip glaze down there. More stock heading the right direction out of the door. Well, hello there and welcome to my new office. This is going to be the first video from my new office setup. Now, if you're not aware, we have just moved house and we are changing things up, um, obviously. We're in a new location. I have a brand new office. Um, but we're also changing a little bit how we're doing things. We are reducing our stock holding. We're not gonna have such a big backlog. I have a much smaller office, purposefully. We wanted to downsize that. And I've been working hard to get this room set up. Uh, so I'm gonna give you a little tour. This is kind of my workstation now. That's changed up a lot. This is going to be packing area. I'm going to set up a new photography bay. Not quite sure how that's going to work yet, but that's going to be here. Um, we have more stock here. So I thought this video, I'd just give you a quick tour. There's not much to show you around. It is much more compact uh, to what I had. It's about half the size uh, of the old office that I used to film in. Uh, I have less racking in here. Um, this is all of the racking that's coming in now. So I have these two bays, I have these three bays, and we're gonna try and make that work. I do have more storage in the house. I have loft access just outside this office. I have another room behind here that we may end up using as overspill storage, but we want to try and keep our stock levels low and try and keep, if we can, the business confined to this room. We'll see how we go. Anyway, I will flip the view and show you how it's looking so far and how the setup works in here. So this is the door into the office and then here is my workstation. Now I used to have a sit-stand desk uh, which would rise and fall with my laptop on it. Um, I'm not gonna use that anymore. I find I work standing up uh, that's much better for my back. So when I had the sit-stand desk, it was only down when we did our live streams and we're planning to do our live streams from downstairs. So now I have my laptop here, which is obviously portable, but when it's in the office, it sits in there and that's the perfect work height for me. So I've set that up in there. Um, we have uh, pens, pencils, all the things that I would normally use, my iPad, we have tape guns, we have tape, we have six by four labels, Ziploc bags, spare laser printer cartridge, all of that good stuff up there to hand. We have label printer here, all wired in, all the wires go down the back there. Um, box full of scissors and knives, stuff I use every day, tape measures, post-it notes to hand there. I've been trying to organize it better than it was. Um, we have laser printer down here, spare paper. Um, this is my disc repair machine. I used to have that out on the side when I had much more work surface, but I don't actually use it very often. It doesn't need to be using up desk space. So that's gonna be tucked in there uh, for now. We have tripods and things for making videos down there. So that's kind of my current setup. It will adapt and evolve. We have some envelopes up here. We have more supplies and all of the gubbins that you need. We have things like elastic bands, spare plugs that I use quite regularly for changing on items. Um, yeah, sellotape, calculators, all sorts of stuff in here. WD-40, um, rubbing alcohol, all this stuff that we gather as resellers. Scales, um, I have an extension lead coming through here, so I've got spare sockets there. A clock, which I haven't put up yet, that's gonna live somewhere up here. I have not unpacked all of the, um, the things we were sent that used to be on the walls in the old office, but they will end up back up on the walls. And we have more supplies in here sat there for now. So this is packing bay. I'm gonna, like I say, have a photography bay here, I think, 
Whether it is permanent or I have something that drops down as a background, I don't know because that is all of the work surface I have now. At the old office I had loads, it went all the way up the side of a very long office. So I'm going to have to be much more efficient with using that work surface. Keep it clean, keep it available. So that's going to be a challenge. This is a mess. Uh, where I've been unpacking stock, I have a mountain of um, packing supplies. There are crates and crates of it in the loft, but I've, I've left some down here. We have a small selection of boxes. Most are in the outbuildings at the moment. That's down there. Uh, this is listed stock. Um, we don't have a great deal listed. We, we reduced our stock massively. But that's where listed stock is going to go. I think there is one more crate I need to unpack. So that's what that looks like currently. We have window here. Not sure these are particularly would be my choice, but we have some rose, very cottagey <laughs> curtains. And then we have unlisted stock over here. We also have boxes. I'm using this space up here for boxes. Likewise, over here we have boxes. Um, I have fairly low ceilings in here. Um, at the old office I had a lot more space. I had, I don't know, a foot and a half, two foot above these, but we don't here. Unlisted stock is in here. There's Royal Mail bags and some paints I have repainted around here. Um, these needed a lick of paint, this needed painting, so that's all been done. Um, yeah, and then just unlisted stock. There is a lot of unlisted stock that needs to find homes. I don't think it's going to all fit in here for now. Um, so that needs to be thought about. Whether I have some crates stacked up here in the meantime, I don't know. Or as I said, there is a room that side of that wall that I can use as overspill. So that's what it looks like for now. I am enjoying this. This is working really well um, as a standing workstation for me. Um, so I think that's going to stay. This will evolve as I use it. You know, where stuff like this is going to be stored, how this works, I don't know. That will evolve over time. The big thing I need to work on is how I'm going to use this space for packing. You know, what I need to hand, where I'm going to put poly bags for example which are in a box um, and some some for now are spread out down here and I've got a box full somewhere where they're going to go and how I'm going to store those I don't know what the photography bay is going to look like how I'm going to use that I don't know but we'll work that stuff out so let me pick a few orders while I have you there's not much going out today but we can do a mini picking session if you like um, yeah let's do that quickly but before I do that, let's talk about lighting. Currently I have one um, rather pathetic looking bulb in here. I am thinking I'm going to uh, get some strip lights in here to really light the stock and to really light this corner because it's a bit dark and dingy. The sun has just gone in and you can see we lose a lot of light in here. Um, so at some points I will really brighten this room up. So, um, these are going out today. I showed these in the live stream. The calculator that we found in the loft has sold. That's going to a viewer, thank you so much. As are three of the plates we picked up recently. These are also going to a viewer. Um, well worth looking out for. These are the Sun pattern, Stonehenge Midwinter. So those are going out. A nice Etsy order here. This is a mantle vase. It is a Wedgwood, can you read that? And that has sold on Etsy, I think at 35. And then there's a few eBay bits I need to grab. We have sold these uh, wooden apple snack bowls and they've gone to a viewer. There was a message, hold on. Yes, the message reads, thanks for the offer, Nick. Been looking for some snack bowls so I can be fancy at Christmas. Uh, that's come from Emma. 
See, the lighting is really bad here. I need some, I need to sort the lighting out. That will happen as and when. So, we need to find those. Hopefully, yes, they have been unpacked. I thought I remembered. See, the lighting is so bad. Oops. So here they are, two of these um, little carved wooden bowls. Let's get them over here. So, there we go. Thank you, Emma, for the purchase. I think I sent an offer out, or Andrea may have sent it at 12, was it? Yeah, 12 plus shipping. I really like these, they're really cool. So perfect for, as you as you want to use them for, for Christmas, putting your nibbles in, or maybe putting some sweets in. Yeah, a bit of quality street at Christmas. So those are going out to Emma, thank you very much. We have sold Swedish Red Dala Horse four glasses, Irish coffee latte. Right, I know where these are. They are right in the front here. So these four, rather handsome glasses now we've been sending out a lot of offers we've been quite competitive on price we want to get stuff moving we have a lot of stock and a smaller office to fit it in so i think these were an offer uh yes 20 pounds i think they were on considerably more than that but we took an offer at 20 or we may have sent it out so 20 plus seven pounds shipping because by the time these are packaged up individually packaged and then all packaged in a much larger box um, that'll be a big heavy box so there's four of those let's grab them one pop them over there three and four so let me show you the detail on these these are the Dala horses and they have Little handle and little base like that. Very cool things. So those have gone out. Then we have to find Portobello by Inspire Love Design Large Teacup. Let me just grab the picture from that and see what we're looking for. Ah, okay. So that's what we're looking for. It's got love written on it. Didn't go for much, 10 pounds. Um, Oh, hang on. Oh, is that the one? Yes, that's the one. Yes, little brown base. Okay, so that's gone out for 10. Next, we need to find this handsome uh, vase, Tina Forrester Studio Pottery Bud Vase. Uh, somewhere, ah. I can see it. I can see it. This one. I like this. Look at the drip glaze down there. I love how they've done that. So it's much better light over by this window. <laughs> yeah, so this one's gone out. Uh, what was the price? Well, it was listed at 25, but I think we sent an offer a few pounds less than that. So that's going out. Quite a small thing, but very pretty. And the last thing we'll pick for now, we need to find this little Jersey Pottery bundle. So we have Jersey Pottery Flower Frogs Posy Bud Vases set of three. So two of these long thin ones and that one. Now I've seen those, here they are. So it's those two. And when I've unpacked, I've actually split those up, but that's going with it. Let's double check, I'm pretty sure that's it, yeah. So that's this one here. And this pair. Yeah, so these don't have a great deal of value, but as a bundle, as you can see, um, what were they listed for? 20 plus shipping. Um, I'm not sure if we took a lower off on those, I can't remember. But there they are, more stock heading the right direction out of the door. So I think we'll call it there for today, for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the uh, very little tour of my new compact office. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, yeah, I'll try and get back into the habit of doing picking orders videos as we go. And hopefully I will improve the lighting in here. We have a massive list of jobs, as you can imagine with Moving House. 
there's so much to do, so much to get used to, so much still to find, so many items to unpack and find homes for and 101 jobs to do on the house. Um, so putting in some bright strip lights in here isn't particularly priority, but I do really want to get that done and sort out my, my new photography bay. So at some point, I will share all of that with you when I do that. Anyway, I'm now waffling. Thank you for watching. I will grab another one of my videos and pop it up here. Let's find a picking orders video from the old office. So if you want to go back and reminisce, check this one out. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.